friends let us observe management of this hypermature morganian cataract this is the main incision with a 2.8 mm steel keratome and now on the left side of the main incision about 3 clock hours away this is a side port and now the anterior chamber is filled off with an air bubble The anti-capsule is stained underneath this air bubble with 0.06% tripan blue dye. The dye is applied in such a way that there is uniform staining of the anterior capsule. This is a real-time surgery, so I don't wait much in about 12 to 15 seconds I wash the dye out of the anterior chamber using a 23 gauze Simcoe cannula and now the anterior chamber is filled up with 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose Now, with the help of a 26 gauze bent cystitome, I make a puncture at the center of the anterior capsule and immediately milky fluid comes out. Then I use the Simcoe cannula again and wash out the milky fluid. And now, the anterior chamber is filled up again with 2% SPMC and now I take a uterita forceps and do an adequate size terexis. At this time I can judge that the jonule is ok in this case there is no jonular weakness so I need not use a capsular tension ring in this case. And now this nucleus is free floating. I have a plan in such cases. I'm going to use a technique which may be called tunnel and gaze and chop technique. With bevel down position of the tip of the phaco needle and making this tunnel into the substance of the nucleus up to the center of the nucleus. Now I use reflux and come out uh, again I use aspiration and remove the air bubbles and now I turn the handpiece make the bubble up and now I'm going to, I'm going to engage the tip of the phaco needle in the tunnel that is already prepared. And, uh, as I go through the tunnel, the nucleus is very stable and I can make a nice crack. And I rotate, hold this seminucleus and make another crack. And now I rotate come to the other hemineucleus and gaze the teeth into the substance of the nucleus and make another crack and now I'm going to start emulsification of these pieces from the very beginning I'm in FECO 2 mode where the vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury and flow rate is 45 ml per minute. Ultrasonic energy being used is 65 percent. This is last but one piece. My plan is to decrease the vacuum and flow rate during emulsification of the last piece. 
antechamber is stable there is no surge and now this is the last nuclear piece still I am in FECO 2 mode high vacuum mode emulsify this and now I go to FECO 3 mode where the vacuum is 250 and flow rate is 25 ml per minute and ultrasonic energy is 60 percent the last piece is being removed very carefully and it is done and now I inject a bit of SPMC again into the anterior chamber and plan cortical cleanup I'm going to use the same 23 gauze Simco cannula to remove this cortex Simco is very safe I get more control with this instrument I can use very low vacuum to very high vacuum in a few seconds in a fraction of a second I can stop aspiration in one sentence it gives more control in cortical cleanup and now I'm using the irrigating probe or bimanual IA for polishing the posterior capsule and now I'm going to hydro implant an intraocular lens. Keep the anterior chamber formed by irrigation, and here goes a hydrophilic acrylic single piece monofocal intraocular lens. And now I have asked for a Sinsky hook to check if the lens is in the capsular bag or not. Yes, I can hook the rexis margin over the haptic so it is in the capsular bag. So, if you can hook, if you can touch the rexis margin at the area of haptics, then the lens is in the capsular bag. And now the side port is closed by hydrating corneal stroma. Now this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber. So in this case my aim is to mainly to show you the tunnel engage and job technique make a tunnel in the nucleus in the substance of the nucleus in bevel down position of the fecal needle then use reflux come out turn the handpiece make bevel up engage the tip of the fecal needle into the tunnel and then chop the case is done thank you very much for your attention Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, compassion and great surgical competence.